Are you confused which field is right for you? Is it PLC, DCS or SCADA? In this video, I will try to make it easy for you to understand which field can be right for you and why. We would start with what are the skills required for each domain like PLCs, DCS and SCADA. And then we would also discuss what are the pros and cons related to PLC, DCS and SCADA. At the end of the video, based on my experience, I would guide you field can be right for you and why. Before we talk further about today's video, if you are new to the channel, consider hitting the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet, turn your notification on. If you don't want to miss our future content related to PLC, DCS, SCADA, Industrial IoT, Industry 4.0, Industry 5.0 and Cybersecurity. Let's talk about PLC Carrier first. Before we talk further about PLC Carrier, pros and cons, skills required, it is important to understand what is PLC. PLC is an industrial computer that is used as a brain in, in process industry to control small processes and machineries in a manufacturing floor. You talk about conveyor belts, you talk about robotics, PLC can be used to control all of these. Let's talk about what are the skills that are required if you wanted to become a PLC engineer. It's good to have a degree in electronics, otherwise the basic knowledge about electronics is essential. If you know about process and process instrumentation, it is going to be very helpful. You need to have an understanding of a basics about ladder logic. You need to have a programming basic. You need to understand ladder logic, FPD and STL in a PLC programming. You need to have an understanding about major and important brands like Siemens, Allen Bradley and ABB. It's important for you to have a troubleshooting and maintenance skills. If you know how to fix problems in a PLC, it is important. It is one of the important skills required for a PLC role. If you have industrial networking, it is going to be good. How you communicate different systems, how you integrate your instruments to the PLC. Now let's talk about if you have selected the PLC carrier, what would be the benefits, what would be the pros about a PLC field. Number one is high demand in a manufacturing and automotive field. PLC is widely used in different industries. If you think of a robotics, PLC is used. If you think of a big conveyor systems, PLC is used. So PLC is used in a different process industries for a smaller, for controlling small processes. And it is also used in a manufacturing floor to automate different tasks. So if you have a right skill set, you would definitely gonna get a very good job sooner. Now let's talk about second and important point that is PLC is easy to learn. Why? Let's talk about that. PLC information is easily available on internet, different platforms like YouTube and other websites like Udemy. You can easily grab the information. You have a required softwares available, simulators available, and you can easily grab the required skills if you are targeting a PLC job. Compared to other SCADA and DCS, PLC is easy to understand. Information is easily available and can be easily mastered. Let's talk about third and important point, which would be one of the biggest consideration if you are thinking to choose PLC as your carrier. Quick project turnaround. That means you are going to get a lot of project easily and you will and you would be able to work in different industries and will be able to complete the task sooner and then you would get the next project easily. Another point which is very important to understand that PLC 
that PLC is cheaper. You can buy the hardware, you can learn it by yourself. When you think of a SCADA and DCS, you don't have a software available. You don't have an access to get a DCS systems because they are very costly. It's the time to talk about DCS system. As the name suggests, DCS or distributed control system is used in industries like petrochemical, fertilizer, power plant and oil and gas big production plants. The role of a DCS is it is distributed. You have a redundancy mechanism and you have a customized built-in controllers. They are redundant in each areas and you have a complete system that have a visualization available in your control room. So DCS have or screens or a graphics that can help you to see what's going on in the process. Now let's talk about if you are aiming to get a job as a DCS engineer, what are the skills required for that? You need to have a strong understanding about process and process instrumentation like PLCs. It is vital that you should have a process information like how different processes like oil and gas, fertilizer, power plant works, how things are connected with each other to produce a certain product which drives these industries. You need to have an understanding and knowledge about different DCS systems like Delta V from Emerson, Honeywell DCS and Yokogawa DCS and ABB DCS systems which are famous and they are widely available. But the tricky point right now here to note, you don't have a simulators available. You don't you cannot buy these system easily to practice. And that is the core reason getting that information is trickier. Good news for you who are watching this video right now. I have put a link somewhere here for you. Those who are interested to know about DCS system, you can click on that link and you are gonna find an interesting playlist if you are aiming for a DCS job, it is vital and important for you to have a knowledge about industrial protocols, experience and experience in configuring and maintaining distributed networks that involve networking skills. Because in a DCS network, you have switches and they are connected. So if you have information about networking, it is gonna be a big plus. Every field have positive and negatives. Like other fields, DCS have some pain points. Let's talk about the cons of a DCS carrier. Gentlemen, DCS is way more complex than PLC. It is not because the DCS system is difficult to understand. It is because the information is not easily available. And the companies like Honeywell, ABB and Big Guns, they are selling these courses in very big cost. And that's why it is not easily accessible for everyone to get a training in a DCS. That's why understanding DCS system compared to PLC where information is easily available is very difficult. When we talk about the DCS system compared to PLC and SCADA, DCS jobs are not easily available because when we talk about the DCS jobs, they are limited because DCS are only in a big process industries like oil and gas, fertilizer, petrochemical, and you got a one DCS engineer in entire plant. And that's the reason the DCS jobs are not easily available. But the good thing is when you get that DCS job, your life is sorted out because DCS is easily because DCS is easy to program compared to PLCs. In a DCS, you got customized function blocks and different programs already built for different process needs. You have a graphics templates for different face plates and different other graphics which are important for you to design a good screen, they are readily available. It's just like drag and drop. 
So don't give up. If you are interested to learn DCS system, we have an online training available. Details somewhere here. Con contact us for further details. Last but not least, that is SCADA. Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System plays a great role when you have a different process industries and they want it when you have a different process plans and you want to see all of them into a central location using a SCADA you can achieve that SCADA plays a great role when you want to connect different sites from a remote locations to a one central control room and visualize each and every process aspects which are critical for you to take a right step in a right direction. Let's talk about what are the skills that are very important if you are aiming to get a job as a SCADA engineer. First and foremost, it's very important for you to understand different SCADA softwares like Ignition, Wonderware, WinTR, WinCC, and wonder where in touch how you would be able to learn that obviously we got a one playlist which is somewhere here if you are a beginner i highly recommend watching the videos it is very important for you to understand one important consideration that is if you want to get a job in a, as a skater engineer it is very important that you have it and ot networking knowledge dnb3 protocol modbus can modbus and different other industrial protocols should be your first choice if you want to learn industrial protocols good news for you we have different videos i'm gonna put some links here for you to watch and get required knowledge when we connect different sites to the cloud that involves telecommunication that involves networking and remote connectivity that's the reason it is important for you to have a cybersecurity knowledge due to remote nature of a SCADA system now let's talk about cons a pain points related to a SCADA engineer you need to have a lot of information you need to know about along with automation you are it is important that you know it networking and ot networking and that is a lot of information so you need to be a master of a plc systems industrial protocols it systems cyber security because it is because it's vital SCADA engineer normally required a lot of travel because SCADA systems are geographically dispersed. You got multiple sites and for a maintenance and work related tasks, you, you have to travel a lot to different sites. Now let's talk about very important point, which carrier you should choose. Choose PLC if you are just starting out because information is easily available. You, if you enjoy hands-on experience with machine, PLC could be a right field for you. If you want quick entry into a job market compared to DCS and SCADA, PLC is quicker. It is quicker if you talk about finding a right job. Let's talk about DCS. If you like working in a complex big processes, DCS should be your first choice. If you wanted to specialize especially in oil and gas sector or power sector or fertil power sector or fertilizer tech or fertilizer sector dcs is a right field for you dcs is highly paid job because oil and gas industries and big process industries normally pay more let's talk about skeda choose skeda as your carrier if you're interested in it and ot networking and you want to work on large scale project large scale infrastructure projects are common in SCADA field. If you enjoy system integration and remote monitoring and you have a kind of a love associated with communication systems, then SCADA should be your first choice as a carrier. Based on these points, let me know what you have decided. If you haven't yet, which field is right for you and why in the comments. That's all for today. If you like this video, consider hitting the like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. 
Until next time, take care and bye-bye.